You know how many people are uh, are texting me about this rumor that Vince McMahon is back in creative? I wasn't even going to talk about this here today, but now I'm getting one message after another. You want me to read one of them here? All right. Because there's a bunch of them I'm getting. Look at how far I have to scroll. A talent in WWE told SRS that Vince McMahon is back in creative. Oh, well. Everybody, listen. Okay? Here's, here's, Here's the thing. It is already it has already been stated by Triple H that Vince McMahon is giving him ideas and recommendations and suggestions, okay? This is not new. As far as Vince McMahon is back and he's running creative and he's doing what he is doing before. When I shouldn't say when, but it's probably when. If if that happens, It's not going to be something that you're going to have to learn from Sean Ross Sapp or Dave Meltzer or me or whoever. You're just going to have to watch the show. Now, I had people asking me a couple of days ago as well if Vince was back taking over Korea. You know why they asked? They asked because it was announced that Brock Lesnar was going to be facing Omos at WrestleMania. Okay? Because that seems like something that Vince McMahon would do. Well, you know what? It does seem like something Vince McMahon would do. Maybe Vince McMahon made that suggestion. Maybe Brock wanted... uh, Listen, I don't know why that match was made. But that is not something that proves that Vince McMahon is back in creative. Do you know when you will know that Vince McMahon is back in creative? When they announce three matches for SmackDown this coming Friday, and they don't do any of them. When they announce a lineup for Raw on Monday, and they don't do any of it. When they start a storyline on Raw, and it goes three weeks, and all of a sudden they don't do that storyline anymore. I know some of you think that nothing has changed, that the show is exactly like it was when Vince was in charge, but it's not. I watch the show every week. I've watched the show every week. It is absolutely 100% different. Now, if you think that it's, you know, pretty much the same quality-wise, if you still think the matches are boring, if you still think that's fine, but if you watch the show, Vince is not back in full control. He's not. You're going to know immediately when that happens if you're actually a viewer. Is he back here going, oh, you can't do Brock and Gunther. You should do Brock and Omos. And Hunter goes, God, you know, that's quite, that is two big men. Ah, you know, I'll do it or whatever. Maybe that happened, okay? But it's not what it was before. When it is, you'll know he's back. That's it. And for a lot of people, no matter what happens, it won't be enough because they're just not WWE fans. It's just not their style of wrestling. And it is not like just because Vince is gone, they're going to 180 degrees, turn on a dime and turn it to something else. That's not what they're doing there. It's still WWE. There is still always going to be the lifeblood of Vince McMahon pumping through that company, including through Triple H and how they do things and how they market themselves and the whole nine that comes with that. So for a lot of people, it's just going to be not worth their time because they're not going to like what they do with a Roman Reigns or a John Cena or somebody else that they believe is always shoved down their throat. They are not going to like some of the ways they take some of these ridiculous stories or things that they do with a Bray Wyatt sort of character or an Asuka sort of character spitting goo along with Alexa Bliss. You're just not going to like that stuff. So, unfortunately for you, it's just time for you to tune out whenever that happens and make yourself happy talking about something else. Hey, here's 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 an easy one for you, everybody. February 27th, Monday Night Raw. This coming Monday's show, okay? They have announced four segments for this show. They have announced Damage Control versus Becky Lynch and Lita for the women's tag team titles. They have announced Asuka versus Carmella. They have announced Candice LeRae versus Piper Niven. And they have announced WrestleMania Goes Hollywood edition of Ms. TV, and there's an envelope. Okay? If these things take place, Vince is not back in charge of creative. If none of these things take place, 
then he is. Okay? That's literally the litmus test here. That's what it is. Like, <laughs> not so. Am I wrong? But fair, but it's fair. It's now, fair. Hey, listen. Now, <laughs> is it possible? Is it possible that since he came back, he has had more influence into things that Hunter has done? Sure. Sure. It's probably true. Yes. But I'm telling you, I'm telling you, if all four of these things take place on Raw Monday, there's 0% chance that he is fully back in charge of created. Zero. <laughs> None. No chance. Look, I think 50%. they have a SmackDown lineup, too. <laughs> Should I find the SmackDown lineup? Yes. Yes. Let's see if we've got a... I know, like, Charlotte's going to be... Uh, Here's what the SmackDown Charlotte. lineup should be every week. We're threatening Roman Reigns and the Bloodline to be there in Sami Zayn. Like, that's it. That's all that should be announced. That should be enough. I can't find this uh, ah. SmackDown lineup. It doesn't matter anyway. It doesn't matter because, you know, we'll know on Monday what happens here. That's it. Oh, that's man, maybe Vince is going to get involved so he can help out Paul with the Brandy stuff. I'm all into that. <laughs> <laughs> By the end of this, I was convinced Iron Mike Sharp is the best wrestler who ever lived. He's low key at first, like, ah, bah, bah, bah. but he keeps going. He claps. I'm tall. I'm giant Mike Sharp. If you enjoy these videos for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full length editions of the Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, the Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.